It's movie review time and we're talking about English Vinglish today. Let's get it started. What time is it? You know it's time to hit that subscribe button over there. That's what time it is. And it's time to follow me on my Instagrams, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time that we talk about some movies. Who's ready to talk about some English Vingles today? Raise your hand. The story plot is about, you know, an Indian mother. Her job as a mother, one of her passions is making lindus. Is that what it's called? Lindus. I guess it's kind of a sweet cake. She, she makes, you know, these cakes in India, kind of making extra money. She doesn't speak English very well. And her husband, her daughter, her kids kind of make fun of her for it. Like they kind of do not give her that much respect, in my opinion. I felt sorry for her. Well, her sister lives in the U.S., New York City. She, her sister's daughter, her niece, is getting married. And, you know, they, of course, they invited them to the wedding, invited them to come help out with the wedding and things like that. So she goes to the U.S. by herself not knowing much English. And that's kind of where the story begins. Shradivi's the main, uh, Shradivi is the main actress in the role, in, in the role. I, before this movie, I didn't know much about Shradivi. I had done some reaction videos, like song reactions and stuff where I had seen her, but I didn't know much of her acting skills. And then I saw her in this, and I didn't even put two and two together because I first did my first song reaction with her, I think, is that s the snake reaction where she's like the snake, you know, she's like entranced by the snake and her eyes would always pop. And I was just like, what, who is this, <laughs> you know? And then I saw this English Vinglish and people were telling me that's the same one you did with that snake video. And I didn't even put two and two together because it was such different roles. And that's where you really see Shredivi's talent. You really see it because in, in English, being English, she's kind of, you know, soft-spoken, reserved, um, totally different. So I was like, she is a great actress that I did not even recognize her from the two, from seeing in her in that song video and then seeing her in this role. So she goes to America, USA, not knowing much English, People, of course, number one, she's in New York. Even in the U.S., we would say if we had to pick a city that where there's some of the most hardcore, like even rude, very rude people, you don't want to make a man, they'll get easily tempered. New York's the place. So when you put someone who doesn't know English very well, doesn't know, you know, American culture very well in that in New York, it's like a recipe for disaster, right? <laughs> and you see that in this movie. I think this movie brings it out great because there's a scene where she's in the coffee shop, not knowing much English, not really knowing what to order by herself. And everybody's getting mad. The lady, you know, the cashier lady taking an order starts getting mad and, and yelling and make your order. The people waiting in line behind her, Come on, come on, lady. Very mad, very rude. That's kind of how New York is. They're very fast paced. They're like, let's do it, let's do it. You're taking too much time. And when you're not fast, they get angry. You see it in this movie. You see it in this movie. And you feel sorry for her because you understand. Your heart goes out to her. She decides, she sees something and decides that there's like a four week English class that she can take, go every day. So she signs up. She signs up, she wants to learn English. She goes to this class, you know, meeting new people, getting respect. She's bringing her lin lindus or vindu, you know, her little sweet cake, sweet cake rolls there. And she's sharing it and everybody's getting to know her culture and the other cultures. And it, it become like a big bonding thing. Also, there's a guy who brought her the drink that's in the class that happened at that coffee scene that's in the class that likes her. This is where it gets tricky in the movie because she's married, married woman. He likes her, flirts with her. Now cultures are different. He, and he was like from what, France or something also. So it shows like 
how different cultures are so different and mixed together, sometimes it could be also a, a, a mixture for disaster because when you have different cultures and different things that disrespect that culture, but the other people are unaware of that. That's, they're ignorant to it. They don't know. They don't know that what they're doing over here is a huge disrespect for that culture. I have come across of it, even doing reaction videos to other you know, Indian cultures. I might say things that are disrespectful that I don't even know. I'm not trying to be, ever be disrespectful. I love the Indian culture. I respect it. But sometimes there's just, you know, things that you, that we're unaware of. We don't even know that it's a disrespect. So this movie really is a great representation of that. She's a married woman. This guy really is like kind of infatuated with her. He's, you know, tells her he likes her. He's, you know, all this stuff and, and, and compliments her. And she's not used to that because she wasn't getting that at home from her husband. And that was shown kind of in the beginning of the movie. They kind of like kind of made fun of her and things like that. So you start to think in the movie, you're like, are they going to become a couple? Because Hollywood will do that. Even if she's married, you'll see a Hollywood movie and you'll be like, oh, they're going to, she might leave her husband and go for him and blah, blah, blah. But that's what I love about Bollywood movies. It's because no, they're they're not gonna, you know, advertise that kind of thing. They're not gonna put that out there like, you know, the woman should leave the husband because you're not disrespected. No. They presented it as, yeah, she she was becoming her own woman, becoming more independent, more self confidence. But that's not making her stray from a husband. That's making her husband open his eyes to what a great wife he has. And that's where I was touched. I was like, oh, this movie is not about, you know, not just about, you know, the different cultures coming together and learning about the different cultures and, and this woman's journey to becoming, you know, more independent, more self-confident, learning English and in and and in that process, becoming, you know, independent, self-confident. It's also about, you know, love and sometimes forgetting how wonderful the person is that you married and the reasons why you married them and the reasons, you know, the wonderful qualities about them that made you fall in love and finding them again. And that's where it touched me. I love the movie. I thought it was wonderful story. I thought it was shot well. I thought from even the American side of it and how they portrayed different things in America. And I think the acting was great and I loved it. I, I gave it a five out of five. That's how much I loved it. And that movie is where I also gained much respect and became a big fan of Shurdevi. And I was sad to see and I was sad to hear that she had passed away because now I'm a, I'm a new fan and I want to see all her movies and, and there won't be a new movie of hers in like, you know, my time of knowing her, really knowing her. And, and that makes me sad. May she rest in peace. All right, y'all. Comment, thumbs. Don't forget to hit that, hit that subscribe button. And until next time.